hey guys on today's video guys we'll be doing an analysis on a company that you guys or at least the majority of you guys suggested that i look into and this came after a post i i did on facebook those of you who follow me will know that i did a post i think or was it thursday or friday where i asked you to come up with a company that you would like me to do an analysis on and i had indicated that the company with most votes is the company that I will do a video on. And guess what? Today, today, I am doing a video about that company that most of you voted that I do a video analysis uh, about, which is something that I'm very excited about. Though, on today's video, guys, we won't go into things like your latest developments regarding the company, future prospects. We'll just do an analysis on the financial side of the business because you will remember that it's important that when you're investing in these companies you know the finances of the companies you are investing in you want to know how are they doing financially because that is what ultimately also drive the share price of the company so it is important that you also track or trace the financial side of the business because with the financial side of the business then you are able to make a precise decision if whether you should invest in that company or not which is why i will be just focusing on the financial side of the company you chose on friday otherwise guys this is something that i plan to do time and again from now uh, just to try to also do analysis on the company that you would suggest but what I will do is that the companies that have already sort of like done analysis about like this company that I'll be talking about here I will I won't be doing any analysis about until I cover maybe majority of the companies down the line that you might still want me to do an analysis about so the companies that I've already done analysis on I don't think I will repeat them until at least I cover a bunch of companies that you 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 suggest otherwise before we go any further, please know that I'm not a professional financial advisor. All that I'll be discussing here are just my opinions. In fact, this video is just for entertainment purposes and you should not take it as a professional financial advice video. If you seek professional financial advice, you already know what to do by now and that is you need to go and consult the professionals. So please do watch this video until the end because I definitely think that these developments that I have about the company that you chose this Friday you are definitely going to like it otherwise without a waste of time the company that you guys chose that i do a video analysis on is a company that goes by the name of rene gen now this is an investment holding company that engages in alternatives and renewable energy businesses in south africa and in sub-saharan uh, africa which is something that is incredible so this is one of the things that i before we look at the finances side of the business i definitely think that it has got the potential just this and industry of renewable energy or oh, it's one of the industries which is said to do very well but then now though this industry or this sector is said to do very well but is renegen how has renegen been performing in this sector this is exactly what we'll be looking into on today's video we'll be looking on the finances or on the financial side of the business now the latest financials that i managed to pick on this company was were the financials that it had released in february of 2021 and of course this financial covered uh, the year 2020 until february of 2021 now when i looked at those financials i must say that yeah it got me thinking about this company a lot but without a waste of time here were the financials now as seen on the screen you'll notice that this company as for the total asset the, for the period which ended in february of 2021 they reported total assets of around 780 million rand with and which was higher than the total assets they had in the previous year because you'll notice that uh, the previous year they had reported total assets of around 626 million rands now with the total liabilities you'll notice that this company reported a total liabilities for the period which ended in february of 2021 of around 573 million rands with uh, which was higher than the total liabilities they reported last year around the same time of around 379 million rand now when i look at these two figures i was a bit worried because yeah, but at the same time i thought of the situation more that most companies went through last year 
I mean, the pandemic situation. Uh, but yes, uh, on a nutshell, you would not want the companies uh, to continue or to have this kind of a change when it comes to total liabilities. Though total liabilities uh, might rise as total asset rise, but you would not want them to rise like this. But of course, we can always uh, blink an eye because so many companies, like I said, they were affected by the pandemic. And some of the companies, which I believe this is the, uh, like this one, I think they had issue way before the pandemic, though this pandemic made things to be worse. Because this company, when I checked their history in terms of their finances, they have not been, yeah, they, 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 their revenue, if you check at their revenue, it has been decreasing for the past is it three to five years, somewhere around there. Their revenues have, has been decreasing over the years, which you can see that it's not something that just came uh, from the, the pandemic, just made it, things to be worse, but it's something that has been happening before the pandemic. But the good thing is that the current ratio, through it all, they still have a current ratio of over one, which is something that is incredible, because if you divide that 780 million by this, 573 million you will see that you get a, a current ratio of more than one which is something that is incredible uh, uh, as it sort of like offers some good liquidity to investors because as i always say you would not want to invest in a company that has more liabilities than more assets because in terms of liquidity then that becomes a bit risky otherwise something that gave me some comfort it was when i looked at their loss for the year i mean you'll notice that their loss reduced from the previous loss they had reported last year around the same time i mean this time around they reported a loss of around 42.6 million which was way better than the loss that they reported in february of 2020 of around 52.6 a million so yes this company is not yet profitable it's not profitable yet which is why you are seeing that in, instead of them reporting a profit for the year they are still talking of a loss so they are not profitable yet it's not a company that's profitable which yeah you must really uh, follow this kind of finances in this kind of companies because yeah something that would make sense for you to stick with the company it's when they continue maybe trying to sort of like cut down uh, their losses which is exactly what we are seeing here last year they reported 52.6 uh, million or negative 52.6 million uh, losses and now this year they reported a negative 42.6 million which is i guess it's something that you can still tolerate but the problem it should start when this company let's say now they report 42 next year they report a, a higher figure than this one and in the next two years they also report a higher figure than this that should be a concern or that should make you to worry but as long as they are reducing their 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 their, their, their losses it's something that i think it can still be tolerated Otherwise, uh, another thing that I looked into is their cash and cash equivalent. As you will notice or as you will see on the screen, you will notice that for this year, they reported a total cash and cash equivalent of around 130 million, whereas last year they added cash and cash, and cash equivalent of around 140 million. Now, these figures also, I was a bit worried when I look at them because, uh, but at the same time, I thought of the pandemic then i was like maybe it's acceptable because like i said so many businesses last year they didn't make a lot due to the impact of the pandemic now the last thing guys that i looked into on their finances i looked at their eps or their headline earnings per share which shows you how profitable the company is or how close a company it is from being profitable otherwise this company for the period which ended in February of 2021, they reported an EPS of around 36 or negative 36 cent, which was better uh, than the loss they had reported last year of around negative 47 uh, cents. And now, this is something that ought to be taken as, yeah, you can take it as a good sign because it means that they are reducing or they are getting closer to becoming uh, profitable, though, yeah, the loss is still. Uh, quite high so these are some of the things that you need to consider or that you need to check about this company uh, Renegen but overall I think 
to me personally it's not a company that would really excite me or a company that i would really be excited and quickly go and uh, jump in immediately and start investing on the company but yes the, 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 their products or services i think that uh, they are going to be in demand even uh, in the future but yeah it's a company that i would personally just go and uh, really go through their history and check what is it that is causing them to report this kind of uh, earnings uh, drops then if it's something that i can uh, I feel that it's good enough then I can I can invest in them but if it's something that uh, I have my doubts then I will pass but continue uh, tracking them but otherwise guys one thing that you'll have to remember about the stock market is that stock market is a place where I think as an investor you should strive or opt to go for companies that really have serious potential in the future don't just buy companies because you see their share price rising higher or going down or because of form or fear of missing out but rather know exactly what is it that you are putting your money into know what does the company does how is the company performing financially before you could put that money down otherwise with all that guys that's all that i have in store for you about this company rainy gen and uh, yeah i i would put this choice i can't tell you if you you should what you should do with your money because like i said i'm not a professional financial advisor these are just i just lay down my opinions and you decide if you want to invest in this company or not but uh, otherwise that's all from me from today guys and uh, yeah, like I always say, I make tons and tons of stock market investing videos. And if you think that this video was helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And that is, of course, if you have not subscribed to the channel already, so that you don't miss the good content and the latest developments of the stocks that we follow on this channel. Otherwise, if there's other positive news that you have or you know about Renegen that uh, are making you to invest in this company, please don't forget to drop some of those uh, good reasons you started investing in Renegen on the comment section so that you can also help others or other people like myself because I've not been following this company. I don't know much about this company. I just did the research over this weekend after you guys suggested that I do a video analysis on. Otherwise, that's all from me. And I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey. And God bless you all.